Good morning, I'm Neva Redimanu, and this is your morning news fix for Thursday, 22nd of February. In this update, a question of how many more damning Oranga Tamariki reports need to come out before things change. The Chief Ombudsman's latest report into the Ministry of Children details extremely distressing stories in complaints and inquiries received in the past four years. Peter Bosher says OT has an alarming absence of discipline in many sites across the country. Fano Auto Commissioning Agency Chair Merepeka Delkawa Tate says many of these reports mention the same issues. While there might be one or two good parts to the report, most of them do say substantial change needs to happen, improvements must be made, children are still very vulnerable while in state care. People who knew him are remembering Efeso Collins as a champion of the Pacific community. The Green Party MP and former Auckland Council member collapsed and died at a charity event yesterday morning. First Union General Secretary Dennis Marga says the union and its members are deeply saddened. We work with him closely and looking after our members in South Auckland, uh, particularly Pacifica workers, where he actually championed rights and welfare. Auckland Airport is standing by its multi-billion dollar redevelopment plans. Air New Zealand is asking the government to look into the plans, saying it will make airfares five times more expensive without increasing capacity. But Airport Chief Executive Kerry Hoodie Hanganui says Air New Zealand has a commercial interest in keeping landing charges low. From both their profit margins go, as well as if we add capacity, that opens the door for competition. The Commerce Commission is already looking at the airport's pricing decisions as part of a pre-existing review. Both companies released their latest results this morning with Air New Zealand warning of a tough time for the sector. A suggestion councils need more powers after disasters so broken buildings don't sit neglected. New Auckland University research suggests the Christchurch City Council's limited abilities have resulted in damaged buildings still sitting abandoned in the city's CBD. It's been 13 years since the earthquake claimed 185 lives. Associate Professor Olga Filipova says emergency legislation isn't enough and the council needs to be able to take action against uncooperative owners of vacant sites. She says the tools shouldn't just be reactive but should allow council to prepare to deal with the aftermath of earthquakes. New Zealand's most endangered bird has had its best breeding season in more than a decade. The Tataiti, or New Zealand Fairy Turn, celebrating a record-breaking summer thanks to favourable weather conditions and advancements in management practices. 22 eggs were laid during the season, 18 chicks successfully hatched, with 13 of them already taking flight. Doc Senior Biodiversity Ranger Alex Wilson says a tonne of work's gone on behind the scene. In sport, Tim David has crunched... 31 from 10 deliveries to help Australia beat New Zealand by six wickets of the final delivery in the opening match of the three-game T20 cricket series at Wellington. The visitors needed 35 off the final two overs, chasing 216. New Zealand rugby league boss Greg Peters claims Stacey Jones was miles ahead of other contenders in his appointment as Kiwis coach. Max Verstappen has topped the time charts in Formula One's opening testing session at Bahrain. I'm Neva Reti Manu. That's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at midday from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.